to speed up the development and avoid coding from scratch we can use bootstrap so in this video let's understand how to install bootstrap in angular 18 application so what is bootstrap bootstrap is a free and open source front end development framework for creating dynamic website layout and web applications bootstrap provides a set of reusable components like buttons forms grids navigation bars etc and that can be used to build visually appealing websites also bootstrap includes css styles and javascript plugins to help developers create a consistent user interface so let's see what steps are required to install bootstrap framework so the first step is we need to use npm command to install bootstrap framework like npm space install space bootstrap and the second step is we need to add the css and javascript file path inside the angular.json file so with the help of these two steps we can install bootstrap in our angular 18 application also i have noted down the optional information here like if you want to install the bootstrap icon in your application then use the command npm space install space bootstrap hyphen icons or also you can install bootstrap as well as bootstrap icon with one command like npm space install space bootstrap space bootstrap hyphen icons and the last if you want to uninstall the bootstrap then you can use command npm space uninstall space bootstrap so before we begin the installation i would like to say thank you for visiting my channel if you learn anything from my channel then please do like share your comments and subscribe for more videos so now let's jump into the visual studio code so i am going to install bootstrap inside our angular 18 tutorials project so for that i'll open terminal and before write the installation command let's check the package.json file for bootstrap so here i'll search bootstrap okay so as we can see it's not listed yet now as per our first step i'll use the npm command to install bootstrap and the command is npm install bootstrap i for install and hit enter the installation will take a few seconds depending on your internet speed. So once the installation is complete, the bootstrap package will be added to the node module folder that we can see here inside node module folder. Yes, here is bootstrap. You can see inside bootstrap there is a dist javascript and scss folder has been added. Also, we can see the version of bootstrap inside package.json file. So, here we can see the version of bootstrap is 5.3.3. Okay. Okay. So, we have completed our first step. Now, second step is we need to add bootstrap.mean.css and bootstrap.mean.js file path inside angular.json file inside styles and script array. So inside style, we will add the path of bootstrap.main.css. So for that, we will go again inside node modules. Here we can add the path like bootstrap scss and inside scss we can add the bootstrap.scss file. Same for javascript also. And the other way is we can add the path from dist folder because this CSS and JavaScript folder is available inside dist as well. So I'll go and add the path of CSS and JavaScript folder available inside dist folder. Okay, so here node modules slash bootstrap slash dist slash CSS slash file name is bootstrap dot main dot CSS. Okay, so I'll copy the same path and paste it inside script 
but instead of CSS, I'll write JS. The folder name is also JS, like this. Node modules, bootstrap, dist, JS, and inside JS, there is bootstrap.min.js file. Okay. Now save the changes and restart the application with ng serve command. So it will rebuild our application. Let's check. Yes, it is working. Okay, now I'll open the app.component.html file. And inside that, I'll add these two tags inside dev. And I want to ship this heading as well as paragraph horizontally center. For that, I'll use the bootstrap class text center. And inside that, we will use the button bootstrap button. And for the button, I'll use the class btn btn primary. Okay, save the changes and go to the browser. Yes, you can see our text is in center and we can see the bootstrap button in blue color. BTN primary means blue color. If I change this button to secondary, you can see the background is in gray color. Primary means blue, secondary means gray and there are many more classes. You can apply like button info, button primary, button warning, etc. Okay. So, one more example we can see here. I'll go to Bootstrap 5 documentation. Here, you can go inside component and you can choose anything. Okay. I'll show you. One example with navbar. So I want to use this navbar. I'll copy the code from here and I'll paste it inside my app.component.html file. Okay. Now save the changes. I'll go to the browser. Here you can see. You can see the navbar. I'll change the color bg light to bg dark. And this Nava dark. Now you can see the beautiful Nava. So we can use the bootstrap component in our Angular application and we can speed up the development and avoid coding from scratch. So that's it for this video. In next video, we will see how to install Angular material in Angular 18. So thanks for your time. Bye bye.